Deb Watson here. Today we'll paint this cute little girl very simply with easy to follow steps. The colors you need are red or pink, light blue, brown, and black. We'll add a tiny amount of yellow also. Here's the outline and you can download that free. My brushes are a three quarter inch oval wash brush and a size six round. For the first wash, mix a watery puddle of mostly blue with a little bit of brown. I'm making this top bit sky because it's easier than waves and I like painting seagulls. You can go right over the little girl's head because her hair is going to be darker and we'll cover this wash up. Then dry your sky well. For the water, use a light blue. This time, paint around the little girl's body. The wet sand is another mix of blue and brown, with a little more brown this time. When the background is dry, use leftover sand color to add a few ripples in the water. The ripples shouldn't be very dark almost the same value as the water. Did you notice that I switched to the smaller brush? There's a dark blue shadow coming from the little girl's feet. And I think my sand is too light. I'm going to give it another coat. Your painting doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Just keep adjusting your colors and values as you go. Use watery red or pink for the little girl's hoodie. Don't worry about the details. Just give it a first coat of color. Now for the skin color. Don't get nervous. Skin is somewhere between orange and brown. So mix your brown with a little red or a little yellow until your color looks good. Then paint the first wash of color on both legs. You can also use that color for the little girl's reflection on the wet sand. Reflections always go straight down like a mirror image while the direction of the shadows depends on your light source. The shorts are a brownish color. I add some blue to my brown to tone it down. The first wash is very watery, dark brown. The little girl's hair and neck are also brown, but you can make her hair any color you like. The 
The bucket is going to be your challenge in this lesson. To add interest, try to make the bucket darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. I start with a wash of color and then add thicker paint to the top. Now it's time to add shadows and darken things up. The little girl's hair will look more realistic if you can keep that highlight at the top. And it's a little darker on the right side also. To add shadows to the pink hoodie, you can darken the pink with dark brown or any of your leftover colors. The shadows are fairly dark. And you can add more dark brown if you need to make yours darker. For the shadow side of the legs and reflection, use the same skin colors, that's brown, red, and yellow, but just use more paint and less water. The shorts are very dark where the legs got wet from playing in the water. And it's also dark right underneath the hoodie. But the rest is just medium. You can add more dark to the hair if you need, but it's about time to evaluate this. My sand is still looking wimpy, so it's getting one last coat of color.
And now it's time for birds. Make your seagulls different shapes and not too dark. Groups of three always look nice. For more realism, add a light black dot where the head would be and make the wingtips light black. My finishing touch is to use a little opaque white paint to add a highlight on top of the incoming wave that's just above the shadow line we put in earlier. You can also add white ripples anywhere you like. or white highlights to the cloth, the hair, or the legs. You can soften up your white if you need to by dabbing it with your finger. And here's our finished painting. You could easily paint one of your children or grandchildren at the beach just by following these step-by-step -step instructions. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. These are a lot of work for a grandma like me. Thank you for watching and happy painting.